Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We are starting off overcast and colder. We've had temperatures in the 40s and even 30s this morning. Going through the rest of the morning, we're going to stay in the 40s. So even by lunchtime, we're just up to 47 degrees. It does look like the clouds will begin to break up a little bit from north to south slowly as we approach lunchtime, but then they will fill back in this afternoon. It's also going to get a little bit breezy this afternoon. The morning winds haven't been too bad between 5 and 10 miles per hour, but you can really see that increase going into the afternoon. They'll be consistently up between 10 and 20 miles per hour. We could even see slightly higher gusts. So to go along with the cool air, the breeze will make it feel even cooler. And some of the spots of the Miami Valley will probably not get out of the 40s. Salina, Sydney, Wapakoneta, all near 49, 48 the high in Bell Fountain, right around 50 for Urbana and Greenville. And our southern county is mainly in the low 50s, 53 in Richmond and Eaton, 52 for Dayton, Springboro and Xenia. Everybody is going to feel a good deal cooler, especially compared to yesterday when we were in the mid 60s with some sun. Some sun's breaking out across the far northern counties right now, but the rest of us are dealing with that lower cloud deck. And just beyond this area of clearing, there are more clouds. There's a big area of low pressure rotating over the Great Lakes, and so the clouds are going to occasionally drop down around that low. And we may even see a light sprinkle work across some of our north or northeastern counties today, but most of our area is expected to stay dry. Now behind this system tonight, we are going to get cold again as skies start to clear out a little bit. Areas of light frost will be possible, especially in sheltered areas, sheltered from the wind. We expect uh, plants to potentially have some minimal damage, so protect them, cover them up or bring them in if you can, if you're in one of those spots that will tend to frost. Future track shows lots of clouds as we head through lunchtime, slightest chance of a stray sprinkle across the northeastern counties especially. And then tonight with a little bit of clearing, we're expecting again those temperatures to drop into the mid and upper 30s through tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we expect a lot of sunshine, so it really looks like a nice finish to the week. Temperatures, though, will still be running below normal tomorrow. It'll be a cool day with highs in the 50s. Today, it's low 50s, so this is definitely the coolest day of the next week. We'll be breezy with a spotty sprinkle, otherwise mostly cloudy. Partly cloudy and cold again tonight, dropping to 38. Some of the sheltered areas could see some light frost develop. And then tomorrow afternoon, partly sunny. A nice cool finish to the week will be up to 58. It won't be quite as breezy. And Saturday, we add in some showers in the afternoon. It's just going to be a cool, unsettled weekend. Sunday will also have a rain chance. Monday, back to dry weather, will warm up to 62. And then a cold front will move in Tuesday, bringing in more showers and another push of cool air.